Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a zodiac reading for my fire signs. That's Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. And it will be time stamped in the description box below. I hope you guys are all doing well, taking good care of yourselves. Now we had that big eclipse in um, Taurus. We've had a double eclipse. I know I've been feeling it over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> so let's see, Aries, what do we have for you? So uh, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Also check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs as well. All right, so let's have a look, Aries. What do we have for you? We have conclusions are within reach. Okay, and we have, that's, oh wow, and that's a full moon eclipse. Hello, Aries. And we've got you and your loved ones are safe. That is a new moon in Cancer. All right, so let's see, Aries, what's going on? Oh, looks like mm, something's going to happen or it just ain't. Or you're going to find out something and be able to let something or someone go. All right, let's have a look, Aries. The next couple of weeks, we got Ace of Wands. We've got Page of Pentacles. We've got Eight of Cups. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get a couple more from this deck. Ace of Swords. Ooh, Princess of Page of Cups. And the King of Swords. Okay, so you guys could have a Libra Gemini Aquarius here. Let's see one of them on the bottom of Tower. I just felt the need to just check the bottom of the deck. So yeah, I definitely feel like there's something. I also feel like that you're getting it from both angles. I think you're getting some surprising, shocking information that you wasn't expecting to hear about somebody who you were dealing with, somebody who you walked away from. Okay, but someone who you still see there could be a chance for you guys to be together, right? You guys do live in hope, I think, when it comes to them. But then you also have somebody else here, all right, who's feeling like they want to reignite this spark with you. All right, Aries, let's see. All right, your next couple of weeks, Aries. You've got four of wands. Five of pentacles. Temperance. Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups. So yes, I definitely feel like there is some confusion about somebody who maybe you're either in a friendship with or, or this could just be someone that just takes things really slow with you, okay? Really slow. Or they're just kind of like in or out or can't really make up their mind. But I do feel like this person comes across as quite grounded, you know, trustworthy, dependable, that kind of thing. And I think maybe you just kind of feel left out in the cold because you think they have a lot of other options, but they also think the same thing about you as well. <laughs> yeah, we've got this King of Wands here, so this Aries Leo Sag. So you've got a Libra Gemini Aquarius and you've got this Aries Leo Sag here. And you've got Lovers. So yeah, I definitely feel like there is a choice here. I feel like, but in the sense of you're choosing to be with each other. Okay, and I, I don't know, I don't feel like it's with your ex even though it clearly feels like they've got something that they need to tell you. Or like I said, you're going to be hearing something about them. But either which way it goes, it's like you come out on top in all of this. They're just saying to use your intuition. You don't need to say too much to, especially this um, the one coming back to kind of shock you in some type of way. All right, they might even try and pour their heart out and soul to you, but they're just saying, listen, don't believe it. All right, they're just trying to get you caught back up on them again. All right, but you're definitely not in a good place with this person, it feels like, Aries, okay? So, yeah, they're saying here as well, in terms of your money, they feel like, you know, there's going to be something new happening for you there as well. Well, someone does something loving and kind for you. And maybe, it, I feel like maybe it just costs money. <laughs> but it's really sweet. I want to be loved. Okay, so now let's see this thing here. All right, Aries. Yeah, see, we got Thief. I feel like this is just someone, but you're expecting them. It's like, you know who this person is. Okay, you don't trust them. You don't have nothing to do with them. And look, Thief, it's like they've stolen something from you. They've either stolen 
physically something from you or something, you know, of monetary value, or they've stolen time away from you. But it's almost like you're expecting some type of truth to come out. We've got a wealthy man here. Yeah, someone's just thinking about you a lot. They look at you a lot. They watch you a lot. And look, they're thinking about marriage, like a commitment here, family room. Maybe spending more like quality time with each other. Oh, Aries, this is cute. And you're just toiling labor. So you're really focused on work now as well, which is good. And high honor here too. Yeah, I feel like Aries, you're just kind of minding your business. Just take care of yourself, okay? So I feel like you take care of a lot of people. You care about a lot of people. We've got sudden wealth here as well, okay? So I definitely feel like there's a, some type of job or money coming towards you. All right, Aries. There's an offer heading your way. All right, Aries. We got forgiveness. So yeah, I really feel like you will be forgiving that person and listen to your intuition. All right, it's very heightened right now, Aries, okay? All right, let's see, let's give you some messages here. We've got only time will tell. Only time will tell. Oh, Aries. Because maybe what it is, is that maybe you feel like you don't want to ruin something with someone, you know. Close your eyes and tell yourself you deserve to feel joy. Joy, sorry, that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of your circumstances you currently find yourself in. And then we've got forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, or imagine. So just be careful in for like revenge plots and things like that, okay? Because it might just develop more negative karma and other negative bad things that you've got to go through as a result of that. All right, so let's like move forward, okay? But only time will tell, okay? All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that reading, Aries. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? And yeah, so we're gonna move on now to. Leo. Okay, Leo, this is for your next couple of weeks. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for me, please. And check your sun, moon, rising, Venus sides. All right, Leo, what do we have for you? Oh, we've got luck is on your side. This is a new moon in Sagittarius. Okay. All right, Leo, about to get lucky. Four of Pentacles. We've got oh, Rebirth, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely. I'm literally, I want to say luck is, your luck is about to change. Like, yeah. Mm. I feel like maybe you've had to change some things around, okay, and how you do things. All right, or you've had to kind of remove certain people maybe from your work or business or whatever it is. Okay, so that you could just focus on something, get it ready, so you could really put it out there. Yeah, so you could move forward with it with this chariot energy. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of um, communication going back and forth with you and employers or people, you know, in business, whatever it is, you want them to sell your product, whatever it is. All right, they're saying go for it. I even think that someone's going to come here. Someone's going to come in. Look at that, six of pentacles. This is just money, money, money. Yeah, we got the moon. So maybe this is just, it's all a little bit hidden. So you're like, mm, whatever. All right, but I definitely feel like there's something new or there's something different you want to do. Change that job, whatever it is. I'm really sensing like right place, right time with this reading. You know? All right, let's see. Leo. There's an amazing work opportunity coming up for you. And it's because you decided to change something. I feel like you removed, 
I don't know, maybe you was being a little bit stubborn or you didn't really want to tell people that, you know, or agreed with them that these changes needed to be made, but you've been doing it in secret. And now you're like, okay, let me just reinvent myself or let me just come out like this. Yeah, we've got the moon again. So there's just a lot of fear. I feel like that's the hold up. Yeah, we've got Knight of Wands. Because the passion is definitely there. Yeah, we got the... No. This is just a lot of ego and this is pride, okay? And maybe also as well, you've got someone around you who's just ready to kind of cut you down or, I don't know, drain you, take your ideas. It's almost like you're having to juggle, you know, this and, you know, a situation here. Or a person. You've got chariot twice. They're saying just take the reins and go. Yes, Leo. There's definitely some freedom coming towards you. All right. And this could also be financial freedom as well. There is a bit of conflict here. But with those two moons that came out, reminds me of the double eclipse. Okay. So now I guess we're going to start to really see the effects. All right. Of what these massive eclipses may mean for us. Okay. And for you guys, it clearly means money. Okay. Options. All right. I think you're going to be like extremely busy. You're just going to have a lot of things going on at once. And here you are, Leo. They're saying, look, this is the time. Okay. You're strong enough for this. But you, I feel like they're saying, just leave the ball sh uh, to the side. Okay. Leave the ball crap to the side. Focus on moving these things forward. All right. And making this money. All right. So we've got Cancer, Pisces. Uh, we've got Sagittarius here, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Sag, Cancer, Sag, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here too. Oh, I like this, Leo. Okay. Patience, community, we've got wealthy man here, house, <laughs> thoughts. Yeah, maybe you're just kind of doing a lot of dreaming, all right, from your home, okay? Or maybe what you, some of you have done have already released it or done something with a smaller group or something just to kind of see how it would work. Okay, or you're testing it out, a product or whatever it is somewhere small. All right, but you're going to be getting that feedback. It's going to be coming back around to you because you've got great fortune. Yeah, this is definitely about your occupation. Look at that, sudden wealth, main male. Yeah, so there's definitely a supporter, somebody you can go into business with, someone who's going to be backing you. But there, you just have some type of concern. But it's a new start. Luck is on your side. Take it and run, okay? And you most definitely, I feel like a lot of you could do this from home as well. All right, Leo. Let's take a look. Ooh, we got If You Believe. I'm just hearing it's your time, okay? You got this. All right, let's have a look here. Let's get you a little love message, Leo. We have, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Especially in that situation, if there is someone here who's trying to hold you back or always creating some type of conflict or chaos in your life, you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that reading, Leo. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Uh, take care and I'll see you again soon. And now we're going to move on to Sagittarius. Welcome. I got the moon looking at me right now. I like it. <laughs> that moon energy on us. Okay, Sagittarius. So this is your next couple of weeks. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Let's see. What do we have? Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Woo, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. See, and I just looked up at that moon. 
talked about that moon energy coming into your reading. Okay, this is very powerful. I'm loving this for you. All right, so let's see. <laughs> Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. All right, let's see, Sagittarius, what's happening? Oh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> we got the Three of Wands and we've got the Tower. And we got the Star. Expect powerful change, Sagittarius. Don't know who you are. All right, but this is going to be beautiful. Six of Pentacles. We've got some money. We've got that drip coming in. Yes, we've got the moon here. It's just something about some communication that maybe you felt like it went cold or it went dead or it just kind of cut off. Or you're just not sure. There's something here that you're kind of in the dark about when it comes to some type of communication coming in or, you know, going back and forth. All right. So Sagittarius, what do we have? Yes, Queen of Wands. You guys are really going to be coming into your own. Whatever this is, you're going to be crowned the one. Okay, so there's money coming in here. It just feels like a new life. Like, you know, from rags to riches. Not, it doesn't have to be rags, but you know what I mean. Yeah, we've got justice. Expect powerful change, they said. All right, so this is a dramatic change to your life. That is literally approaching. Two of pentacles. Yeah, you're going to be juggling a lot. Eight of wands. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Wow. It's almost like someone sees you and then it's just like, bam, everybody sees you, you know, or this one person connects you to so many different things or people or someone buying this particular thing from you led to, you know, other people. But then to the point where maybe someone famous saw you, you know, I'm, I mean, look, I'm just saying this is like huge, whatever's going on. And there's definitely someone here who's really trying to get your attention as well when it comes to love. Sagittarius, so let's see. Ooh. Yeah, we got seven of swords. There's something here you don't trust or you don't believe in. But again, like I said, this could be going back to your fear. We've got death as well. Because maybe, you know, you, you've gone through, we've got a tower again. So this is definitely coming through. But with this three of cups, I feel like you guys are going to be celebrating. All right, maybe you've just gone through a really horrible year, like with this Ten of Wands. It's like you're going to be able to, you know, drop that burden now. I feel like you've definitely been in separation with somebody. There's that communication there coming in from them. You know, you've also got someone here who, you know, thinks that you're super hot in the bedroom, okay? And they want to come through. Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Yeah, there's something about you kind of wanting to hold on to, you know, your strength right now, okay, or your heart, because you are in separation and heartbreak with this, pub, you know, with somebody else. There was a really bad ending here. Definitely some type of betrayal going on as well. And I feel like this person's just watching you from a distance, dreaming about you, thinking about you, but you got Wheel of Fortune twice, okay? It's almost like that cycle has ended and they're shifting it, but it's with a bang, okay? This ain't just, oh... A new job this is something like really huge in your life okay that's really going to change the course for some of you okay so we have libra we got scorpio pisces cancer aries leo sag aquarius scorpio yeah let's have a look this is huge Sagittarius. Yeah, we got poverty. So maybe you just kind of feel like, yeah, and I'm sort of in prison to your life and what you do. Maybe you're not able to move around. Maybe you've been wanting to get a car, you know, all those things. But it's like, it's going to be changing for you. Someone's coming back saying they're a little bit more mature. Like they don't just want to argue, fuss or fight with you anymore. You've also got another masculine here who's got great fortune. They're going to be reaching out to you as well. Yeah, with a gift and an unexpected income. So you're just going to have a lot of supporters and a lot of allies, okay? Coming through for you, child. Yeah, brand new beginning, journey and change. So I really feel like your love life is going to be moving on and so is your professional life. 
Okay, even if you're holding back on your love life a bit. I don't know, someone's kind of like, we're not taking no for an answer type of person coming in. All right, Sagittarius. We have communicate clearly. And I think that's across the board, okay? I'll give you one more. Communicate clearly and remain positive no matter what. All right, because you know when something good's really happening as well, you know, you've got people around you that want to steal your joy. You know, misery loves company. So surround yourself with happy, well-rounded individuals. They don't have to be spiritual, but just even have the same interests as you, believe in the things that you believe in. Like a little tribe, you know? We've got don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Uh, they show ears anymore. Oh, we've got two. We've got romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. And when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. They want you to remember that, okay? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that reading, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also book me for a personal reading anytime. But take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.